Today I'm going to show you how to refine your edges and remove fringing in Photoshop. Hey everyone, welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace. You can find me on flurn.com where we make learning fun. I hope you enjoy our new studio setup. We're switching things up a little bit. We got a bunch of new plants and things like that in the studio. So I wanted to feature them in our videos. Let us know what you think in the comments down below. Now in today's episode, we're gonna show you how to remove fringing from a photo in Photoshop. And this is huge. Anytime you're cutting a person out of their background, you tend to see a little bit of the background, especially in their hair. And there's a great technique we're gonna show you on how to completely remove any of that color fringing, which is gonna make your composites look more realistic. Let's go ahead and jump into Photoshop and show you how it's done. So my goal here is I wanna cut out this subject here, this person, and I wanna put her on a new background, and I wanna make sure that we don't see any of the blue fringing around her hair when we do so. So I've already created my layer mask to cut out my subject, and we've got plenty of great tutorials on cutting out and removing subjects. You can actually click on the link right on the screen up here and check one of those out. Now, most of our hard work is done when it comes to the cutout, but this episode is all about removing fringing. And here's what I mean when I say fringing. If we zoom in here, we're gonna see a little bit of the background color right around the hair. Now this is just a JPEG photo, so you know the cutout isn't extremely, extremely accurate, but you get the idea. Now let's go ahead and take our new background. We're gonna use our move tool, just click and drag from one image to another, and I'm gonna put that right behind our subject. There we go. Now let's go ahead and convert that to a smart object because we're gonna make this quite a bit larger there we go, and I'm also gonna apply a blur to it to make it look realistic. So, nice large background there. And you do lose resolution when you make something that large, but we're gonna apply a blur to it so it's uh, you won't really see that resolution loss. There we go. All right, and something like that starting to look pretty realistic. Okay. This is the makings of a great composite photo. We've got our subject pretty well cut out, we've got our background in place, but things just don't really look right because we've got this blue fringing right around our subject. So how do we get rid of that blue fringing or whatever color fringe you may have around your subject when you cut them out? The secret lies with a tool in Photoshop called clipping masks. Now a clipping mask will basically make one layer visible where another layer is visible. It's much easier to show you. So let's go ahead and create a new layer on the top of everything here. A new layer, we'll just zoom in a little bit. And on this layer, I'm gonna simply just grab a color and we're gonna paint with our brush tool. So nothing fancy here, okay? Let's grab a color and just kind of paint all around our image. Now, as you can see, we have a layer here, okay? This is with our green on it. We have a layer with our subject on it and we have our background layer. Now, if I want this green layer to only show up where my subject is visible, I'm gonna use a clipping mask. So let's right click on this green layer and go down to create clipping mask. Now you can see instantly that this layer becomes visible only where our subject is visible. I can move it around, but my visibility is limited to the layer underneath it. And this is really the key to removing fringing. For instance, if I set this layer from normal down to color, it's now gonna simply color everything underneath it. But again, it's only gonna be visible on this layer. And this is what we're gonna be doing. Now, instead of using this green color, we're actually gonna take the color of the hair and paint right over the blue areas, and that's simply gonna turn the blue areas into hair color, completely eliminating fringing. So, let's show you how it's done. So to start, let's just delete this layer. We can create a new layer here. We're gonna right click and go to create a clipping mask, because I only want it to show up where my subject is visible. We're gonna change our blend mode from normal. We're gonna go down to hue, okay? Now, if I choose, let's say I choose a red color here and I paint everywhere with this red color, it's gonna turn everything into that red hue, okay? As you can see right there. Now, what we're gonna do is I'm actually gonna choose the hue of our subject's hair. So I'm gonna paint wherever I see this blue fringing, there we go, right around the edge here. We're gonna paint wherever we see that fringing and you're gonna see that blue color is being replaced immediately with the hue of our hair. Now this will work no matter what type of fringing you have. 
Sometimes it's blue from the background. Sometimes it's white. Maybe you photographed a person on a white background. This will also work. It really works to remove any type of fringing and make your edges much more believable whenever you're doing any type of cutout work in Photoshop. And there you can see, just doing this live in just a couple of seconds here, we're able to completely remove all of that fringing. So making this visible and invisible, let's just zoom in here so we can see. That's invisible, and there we have visible. Here's obviously we have a cutout. The color does not match the background. Let's make this visible again, and boom, we are good to go. Now, what I like to do is create a new layer. There we go. Let's clip that. I'm going to change this from normal down to color, and then I'm going to bring in a little bit of this new background color here. So we're just paint with our brush tool, paint around the edges just a little bit, a little bit of this background color, and this will help make our composite look even more realistic, and we're going to be good to go. There we go, and that looks great. Let's take a look at the before and the after, turning our fringing layers on and off. Here's our before and the after. Well, I hope you enjoyed this quick episode on removing color fringes and refining edges in Photoshop. It's something super easy and you can do this on any photo where you cut a person or an object out of their background to completely remove fringing. Now, if you'd like some more help cutting your subjects out of the background, check out our awesome tutorial, how to change and remove backgrounds. We'll put a link to it on the screen right now so you can check that out. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. So fun hanging out with you. I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me as well. Thanks again, and I'll flirt you later. Bye, everyone. Bloopy loops. Get some bloopers in. The bloopy loops. <sighs> Instacart. Ooh. You guys are making cool shadows on the wall when you walk in. Thank you. <laughs> Looks like we got a grocery delivery. I'm gonna go.